Hey guys, I promised I'd do a finish up on this uh, RPM intake. On the other head that does flow 299.8 this morning. So let's take a look at what, uh, see if the flow's changed that much. Now the only thing different between the two heads was one had the throat ratio for the smaller valve I was using, which was a 208. So it comes out to only like an 85 85 or 86 percent throat with the 2.125 valve the uh, the one that was tested today is closer to 90 it's like an 89.5 throat so let's see the difference okay now I get a lot of guff from from guys that are way smarter than me you know about my lower bowl ratios but this is what we've got this is a cylinder head that flowed 277 this is the head we flowed today at 300, okay? Plus, minus, 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 plus, 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 and the pluses are not that big. Of course, the minuses really aren't that big either. Okay, this flowed 260 with no carb and no gasket. Uh, I don't remember flowing this one, but it was less than that. In any case, not a huge difference, even though it's, you know, almost 30, uh, 23 CFM more. It doesn't matter. The, the intake is still the restriction, okay? So you're not getting the flow through it. Okay, same idea. Number one intake, though. Okay, so this is the flows on the 277. CFM head. This is on the 300 CFM head. Plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, plus. And same deal. The pluses aren't that big. The minuses really aren't that big. This one flowed 282 with no carb, no gaskets. So that's 20, that's 22 CFM difference between a basically the worst upper H port and a lower H port. Now, a lot of people give you, you know, you could do better than that. Good luck. You might be able to, but it's going to take even more work than I have into this, and this has got a lot of work into it. <sighs> I have to mention it again. Chad Spire, he got 260 through his single plane intake, through his super stock head, through his 780 carb. The amount of horsepower he makes on that is ridiculous. Yes, he's using different fuel. He's using higher compression. He had Mike Jones spec his cam. Running a lot of lift, I'm sure. But still, if you wanted to build a street sleeper, I'm pretty sure this manifold will get it done in a big way. Especially if you put it something that's a little on the bigger side with really good boosters. This thing will be smoking. All right, guys. I think I'm done with this. I'm going to move on to a couple other things today. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.